Meteor summoning magic. Off of its target by roughly an eighth of an inch. <laughs> this accuracy is testimony to the validity of a geocentric theory. The sun does indeed revolve around the Earth, as everyone knows. To those who dare object, I shall deliver unto them a stellar punishment. Objection! Celsius! I dare you to say that just once more! Uh -huh. What's the matter with you, Junpei? I simply said the sun revolves around the Earth. Oh, great! Did you hear that? This is why I can't stand residents in a fantasy world! Oh! Moron. That's why I can't stand you. You can use this globe to learn a thing or two. Then in this world, the geocentric theory is widely accepted. Well, this is a fantasy world, after all. Ah! Screw that geocentric crap. I'll die a heliocentric. What are you talking about? What does heliocentric mean anyway? You don't know a little word like that? Well, it goes... Ugh. Miss Airy, please. It's the scientific theory that postulates that the Earth revolves around the sun. This way! If that were the case, then everyone would suffer from intense motion sickness. No! Oh, I'll accept magic and fairies and sorcerers! I'll even accept panda elves! What? Panda elf? But when it comes to geocentric theory, I won't give! <sighs> Why the commitment, Junpei? Uh, huh? huh? Only once in my entire life. Have I ever cried watching television? Ah! Uh, you, Junpei? You cried? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I remember it like it was yesterday. It was the day after my 10th birthday. I had turned on the TV to kill some time as I ate some curry, my favorite, when this history program about Europe came on. The story's main character was this monk named Bruno. Back in those days, the most accepted belief was this fantasy-ish theory that the heavens revolved around the Earth. But Bruno questioned that belief and traveled all over the place, preaching to people about the heliocentric theory, telling them, it is the Earth that moves. That must have been one courageous act when no one's in your corner. He really had balls. Before I knew it, I was hooked on this guy. But Bruno was branded a heretic by the church. And they murdered him! They burned him at the stake. Stupid. It goes without saying that the next day I went to the park and preached to people about the heliocentric theory. Huh? Yeah! I can't just stand here. I need to preach the heliocentric theory to the poor ignorant people of this world. Come on, come on, step right up everyone, just step right up! Richard, stop him. What? Oh come on, it's too embarrassing. You realize this is all your fault, Miss Celsia. Huh? What? This much for this alone? Hmm. How could a scratched up used lens like this command such a high- Take your business elsewhere. I see. That's too bad. <sighs> Associating with you makes my life quite a bit more difficult, you know. <laughs> we 
We've been looking for you. Haven't you done enough already? Shut up, Panda Elf! What was that? You want some? How about now, boob? <laughs> Come on, you two. Calm down. After all, we know how close you guys really are. What, what gives you, you that, that idea? idea? Oh, 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 over there. Let's go. Uh, Junpei, Miss Celsia. Are you all right? Uh, Miss Airy, look. It's quiet. It's bad enough you confuse people with nonsense, but to occupy the observatory. Oh, but that observatory was abandoned. I'm sure that I am not bothering anyone. What did you say? Wait. Resistance is futile, Professor Bruno. Huh? Bruno? Bruno? The Society of Astronomers orders Professor Bruno to vacate the Martha Observatory as of tomorrow. <laughs> That's what you get for preaching nonsense. Like heliocentrism. The heliocentric theorist. So, now will you please leave us? Go home! Go home! Go home! Go home! Go home! Go home! I understand. Go home! But this is all pointless posturing. Pointless? Yes. Driving me out of town will accomplish nothing. The Earth still moves. So that woman is Bruno. Earth-centered versus sun-centered. I see. So I wonder what happens next. Junpei, it's your move. My move, all right. Karate moves! Scary. <laughs> He's serious. <laughs> that woman. I know her. You need to build an observatory up as high as possible, but jeez! This is totally insane. Does that woman Bruno really climb up this way every time? How the hell would I know? Huh? What? No way! The Society of Astronomers. Brainless imbeciles. I agree with that opinion. Uh, and I also support you on your heliocentric theory, Professor Bruno. Oh. So you are those who hunt elves. I appreciate your concern on this issue, but this is a personal matter. There is no need for you to get involved. If you let me help you, I'll teach you lots of scientific secrets. Do you truly believe in my theory? No! Yeah! <laughs> it's, it's a common, common knowledge joke in, in my world. world! All you've got to do is prove that the heliocentric theory is correct, right, Professor? Is such a thing possible? But how can I? Uh... There, you see? How could you prove something like that? Shut up, you dork panda! Why don't you prove something uh, on uh, this? Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, I'm getting
Not enough. Even if she leaves the observatory, that woman will never recant her absurd heliocentric theories. I agree. We should waste no time by waiting until tomorrow. We should move ahead at once, don't you think? Yes, I see. But what should we do then? Please leave this matter to me. Hmm? Oh, why you are Master Kiramez, the summoning sorcerer. We can't possibly fail now that you're helping us, Kiramez. <laughs> Any fool who argues heliocentrism deserves a swift punishment from the heavens. Those eyes were dead serious. We need to warn Junpei and Celsius. <laughs> hooray, hooray! It's moving! Hooray for heliocentrism! How can you prove anything just by looking at the stars? See, I really need to know why you're doing this. Isn't it the scientist's job to question common sense? But, you know, people usually don't want to be turned into, well, outcasts. Because... Because you can't lie to yourself. Lie? Really? The Earth really moves? Yes, no one believes me, but I'm sure of it. I am certain that heliocentrism is true. Do you believe me, Bruno? Yeah! I believe you! I really, really believe you! <laughs> <laughs> Father, Father, look closely at this. I graduated from the Academy of Astronomical Sciences. I, I'll, I'll prove it to them, Father. Your heliocentric theory, I'll prove it for all to see. Yes, I will. Validating heliocentrism is my goal in life. Mine and my father's. Anyway, I believe we are the same kind, are we not? Huh? The same? How's that? You know, don't you? <laughs> then I am an elf. Uh, and about the spell fragment. And just like Junpei, you wanted to see the heliocentric theory validated. What? Uh, are you nuts? Uh, that idiot Junpei kept raving about heliocentrism, and so I wanted to know how well, you know, it would turn out, and... Oh. <laughs> no need to worry. Once I prove my theory, I'll remove my clothes. <gasps> huh? Junpei! Miss Celsia! Trouble! Finish her off for sure. Vekepora, Kroto. <laughs> all is ready. Now all we need to do is wait. By daybreak, the meteor will impact and it will be all over. <laughs> A meteor? The Society of Astronomers may attack at any time now. What? But she had one more day to finish her work! It would appear that such niceties no longer matter to them. What will we do? Mikkei's main gun will never be able to stop a meteor. Damn it! Is the power of science going to be defeated by fantasy? We must evacuate. We must get as far away from here as possible. No need for that. Huh? huh? It's true that meteor is on a direct trajectory right now. But in the end, we will completely evade its impact. This is because... 
The Earth does move. I see. Since the Earth moves, by the time the meteor arrives here, we will have already moved out of the way. That's right. Stop trying to think! Please, Miss Bruno, don't let your pride get in the way. It's stupid to risk your life on something like this. Meow! <gasps> Mikay! Peachy! Meow! What's going on? <gasps> the birds and the animals are all running away! <laughs> At times like this, wild animals are very honest. They demonstrate the natural order of the Earth. Only humans are so stubborn. You've got to give this up! You saw what those birds were doing, Bruno! They instinctually realized this area is in imminent danger! It's suicidal to remain here now. Well, I won't sacrifice my life for such a crazy theory. Let's go! I ain't moving! I know it's safe to stay here, because I know the Earth moves. We have come this far, haven't we, Miss Celsia? Here it comes! <gasps> oh my, it's huge! Direct hit or not, the blast will get us! Say what?! <gasps> Celsia! You people are a real handful to take care of. <sighs> Victory is mine! It'll move. Detected the impending meteor and moved out of the way before it hit. Yes, the marvels of wild nature. This is all part of the natural order of the earth. Hey, what the hell? Go! Go! I did it, Father. Professor Bruno, is this your Earth Moves theory? Yes, and it's no longer a theory, is it? Well, we were able to collect another spell fragment. And isn't it nice that it's located in a spot that's not so obvious, Miss Celsia? You know, I'd rather not talk about it right now, if you don't mind. Good grief. And Miss Bruno turned out to be an elf. Sure was a mind-blowing day. Right, Junpei? <laughs> a few days later, the Global Society of Astronomers conceded that, pertaining to certain areas, the theory of heliocentrism, or the movement of the Earth, was indeed valid. This is why I hate fantasy stories!
Did you know that plants will grow much healthier when you give them love? Shrubs sprout more flowers, tomatoes become brilliant red, and shiitake turn into matsutake. <laughs> no, I'm having a little joke. Our next episode will be filled with plants and science and all sorts of fascinating things so that we can learn all about them before they kill us, I hope. Next on Those Who Hunt Elves 2, Those Who Beam. Could I have another bowl, please?